individual segment or a portion of spinal cord which provides attachment to a single spinal nerve okay the number of rootlets attached to a particular segment of spinal cord which turns into a spinal nerve that particular part is termed as spinal segment now as you know there are 31 pairs of spinal nerve so obviously there will be 31 such spinal segments but there are 31 pairs of spinal nerves but the spinal cord terminates at L1 so obviously in the lower part there will be crumbling of the spinal segments they will become very thinned out and then the spinal cord can terminate at L1 now let me show you the sections of spinal cord or the spinal segment how they look like so for that I will cut a portion of spinal cord like this okay see this this is termed as spinal segment okay the thickness varies from region to region they are having highest thickness in thoracic region and they get crumbled in the lower thoracic or lumbar region particularly at L1 see this now if you see it from above you can clearly make out there are rootlets these are dorsal rootlets okay and these are the ventral rootlets okay It is, these are ventral rootlets and along the dorsal rootlets this is the dorsal root ganglion okay these are dorsal rootlets and these two together will join to form a spinal nerve as soon as the spinal nerve emerges out from intervertebral foramen it will divide into ventral and dorsal primary ramus